Hey guys, welcome back. This morning, I ran into Robert who loves exploring the world in his RV. Robert is a busy man who recently traveled to the Arctic Circle and he's about to hit the road. So he's in a big rush, but he's gonna give us a quick tour of his mini micro Winnebago RV. Thank you for having me on your channel. This is a the 2023 Winnebago Micro Mini 1720 FB. And um, it's one of a kind actually. I don't know if you know, but I'm a Winnebago brand ambassador. So I work with them and uh, part of our deal, you know, they, they let me try their, their latest prototypes. This one has a front bed, a corner bathroom in the back and a dinette on the other side. The peculiarity of this is the only one that is flex. That's a package that Winnebago has that they put a lithium battery on it. They put a 3000 watt inverter and solar panels and and um, all the nice uh, appliances like Truma Venta uh, uh, air conditioner and the Truma Aqua Go water heater and all that. And um, yeah, basically we just came back from Alaska with it. We've put a lot of miles on it in, in, in a very short period of time. How much does it weigh? This one is uh, about 3,500 dry and fully loaded is uh, 5,000 pounds. It's not very heavy at all, actually. And you have the uh, Chevy Silverado there. Uh -huh. Is that more than sufficient or just sufficient? Yeah, Silverado can tow about 9,000. I've had no problems at all. I've crossed the Rockies twice with it already. And uh, for this kind of setup, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. 2014 is when we started, when we bought our first RV, which was also a, a micro mini that that's why i became an ambassador for them because they reached out eventually let's be honest i want something with the outside of a camper van and the inside of a class a and that doesn't exist right <laughs> so the physics don't work but something with a permanent uh, dinette so i can uh, work comfortably and uh, something with large holding tanks so we can boondock eventually we'll find it well how we got into rving it's um it's been a long process, I think. The first time it was my brother-in-law rented one of those, you know, the ones that had a picture of the Grand Canyon on the side, you know, one of those, the Cruise America ones. And uh, we went inside and it felt small, but we figured, you know, we have your own bathroom, you know, kitchen, you know, it's, um, must, it must be a, a more comfortable way to travel, you know. So we, were, we had never tent camped. We have never been to a campground, you know, we didn't know anything about that. So eventually we rented one. Actually, we, we came up to Cedar Point uh, Amusement Park here in the, we're relatively close in Sandusky, Ohio. And we made it a road trip, um, the Smoky Mountains, and, uh, and eventually we rented one out west because the, the, west, the western United States is made for RVing. Long story short, uh, a month later, we bought our first uh, 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 trailer, you know, something relatively inexpensive that I could tow with my what I had back back in the day, I had an, an SUV, a Kia Sorento. We could barely tow it, but we don't, we, we, we don't want to make a big investment and we loved it. And of course, we were kind of uh, trapped in South Florida just because, you know, we were weekenders. And there are two things you can do in South Florida, the Everglades and the Florida Keys. And those two got, got old, uh, you know, after a while. We started, we did like one long trip to, to the Midwest and, uh, and eventually, uh, you know, you guys started watching my videos. YouTube got big enough that I was uh, able to, to quit my job eventually and, and, and do this. I'm not traveling full time, but I, I do YouTube full time. And, uh, and it's opened so many, so many doors and so many places that, that we would have never uh, visited otherwise. The first, I, I did my first cross country road trip, which uh, there's one thing flying to California. There's another totally different experience driving there. And as you see, the scenery changes once you get into Texas, uh, hill country, and eventually before you realize that you're in the desert and you're like, this is incredible. And then you see the mountains and uh, well, what's been your favorite trip or experience mm -hmm. uh, in your travels? Well, up until three months ago, I would have said one of my trips to the West, you know, maybe my first cross country road trip, the Grand Canyon. But uh, I had to say Alaska, you know, and um, I mean, uh, uh, the rest of the United States and the world for that matter, you know, will have mountains, lakes and, and rivers and all that. But being above the Arctic Circle, you know, being at a place where it never gets dark. I woke up in the middle of the night, you know, 1 a.m. and I went to this spot because I had heard that it was one of the best spots to see the midnight sun. And surrounded by mosquitoes and, you know, there I, I didn't care. I just, uh, it was a, a great experience, you know, it's something like, like, Things like the solar eclipse we're about to experience in, in three or four months. Uh, I don't know when you're going to upload this, but it's uh, in 2024. And, um, and phenomenon, phenomena like that, you know, it's something that, that is unique to a particular 
point in the world or a particular time, it's, um, those are always special. So Robert, you've done a lot of RV hauling. Yes. Have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't back out or you couldn't get out without disconnecting anything like that? Oh yes, yeah, several times. Actually, all, all of the times I managed to, to get out of it, but what, this, this is a, an early anecdote, you know, uh, early when, when uh, on my first uh, trip uh, cross country, uh, I was in Arizona. And we, I, I wanted to do a, a part of Route 66, and I, was, I looked on Google Maps, and yeah, it was marked there, Route 66. And I get on this road, and it starts deteriorating rapidly. It becomes a very bar, bad dirt road, and uh, we have chain link fences on both sides. I, w I managed to make a U-turn, but that U-turn took many, many, many uh, tries. You know, it felt like that movie Austin Powers. You know, when the guy is trying to to to, to do the, the five points, and it becomes like a 50 points. That was one of them. I dropped the trailer into a ditch once, trying to back up. I've, I've, I've had my, my, my series of, of, uh, of troubles, but you know, it's all part of the, of the journey. And eventually, uh, you know, you, you can back yourself up uh, out of anywhere, you know, with enough time. One of the biggest issues that RVers have is having blowouts and flat tires. Have you experienced that in your travels? I have never, I ha I've had flat tires, but never a blowout. I guess I've been lucky. Even with my original trailer that uh, wore out the tires unevenly and uh, all that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I've had flats, yeah. Uh, one on Route 66 actually, but you know, eventually you, you, you find the tire shop. Eventually, I actually bought a plug kit because, you know, it's, it's easier than changing the tire and taking it to a tire shop. Have you had any experiences in your RV that made you think that you might want to give up RVing or, you know, anything like that? Well, that one time that I had the black tank incident, uh, but no, not, not really. This is my preferred mode of travel, really. You know, traveling by, la by land and seeing the, seeing the scenery change. And uh, I just love, I just love, you know, watching the pavement go by and, you know, road tripping. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite things. And having your own bathroom, your own kitchen, your own, you know, that, that's, uh, that's always uh, important. Do you have any advice for someone that's finding, for example, your channel for the first time to get into RV travel? Uh, that you wish you knew when you first started out? Uh, well, first of all, first of all, rent one. Rent one because uh, a lot of people say RV stands for ruined vacations. So rent one, see if you like it. <laughs> see if you can survive with your spouse and children in, in, a, in a, such a small space. Um, and uh, that, that I wish that I knew, well, not really, you learn, you learn, you learn as, as you go along, you know. So I had this idea that somehow campgrounds would be like hotels and they would have like a 24 hour desk things like that, that, you know, I, I, I was new to camping as, as well as new to RVing, but uh, yeah, just rent one and go to your local state park or, or, or your local campground and, and see if you like it. Robert, do you have any big upcoming plans for next year, five years, anything like that? Well, there's a bee here bothering me, but besides that, <laughs> Big, big plan, I wanna do a little more international. I wanna do a, a road trip in Europe. Eventually I wanna do one in Australia, maybe New Zealand, you know, do, do uh, mix it up a little bit. I mean, a, a lifetime would, wouldn't be enough to see everything that there is to see in the United States. But, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's a challenge, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and visiting a different place, eventually a place with a new language. Uh, that would be interesting. And uh, I've done it. I've done it before. I did it in Finland uh, back in 2018, but I'm eager to do it again. Hey guys, thank you so much to Traveling Robert for sharing a little bit about his experience in the RV world. Um, if you would like to reach out to him or follow him or find him on his social media, you can do that at... Oh, easy. I'm Traveling Robert everywhere. Traveling American spelling with one N, with one L. So yeah, Traveling Robert. 1L, Traveling Robert, TravelingRobert.com. If you enjoyed this video, say hi in the comments and I'll see you on my next adventure. <music>